Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Why are we in my kitchen? No reason at all. Actually, I probably shouldn't even be in my kitchen because as you can hear, the audio is probably garbage. The audio is really bad because it's like open space over there. It's all tile, so much reflection happening. I'm talking into a fucking like marble countertop. I just felt like filming a video in a different space and I had one of my lights up here and I was like, hey, why not film it here in my kitchen? I don't know, it kind of looks cool, right? I don't, that's different. Today, I wanted to do a story time video as many YouTubers have done in the past. Story time videos are kind of fun, you know, a little different, story time. So I thought that I'd tell you the fascinating stories of how I've almost died a couple times. Hmm? Hmm? How's that sound? How's that sound? I think I've told a couple of these stories uh, a few times, maybe on like streams or something. I don't know if I've talked about them in videos before actually though, so that's why I kind of want to talk about it. But yeah. I've almost died a couple times. So as pretty much all of you know, I have a severe peanut allergy. I can die from one five hundredth of a peanut. Yeah, I'm kind of a pussy, dude. And so when I was when I was little, like 18 months old, uh, my parents found out that I had a peanut allergy. Uh, they found out, uh, this wasn't originally gonna be part of this, but they found out because I guess I was kind of a picky eater as a baby, which is weird because other than obviously peanuts, because I can't eat them, I'm really not a picky eater at all. There's very few things that I don't like. And I don't even know if there's anything that I don't like to the point that I wouldn't eat it. But I guess I was kind of a picky eater. So my mom decided to put peanut butter on pasta, which is, that's weird. Why would you do that? But I touched my tongue to it, broke out in hives. Parents took me to the hospital, um, which is thankful that I didn't eat more than just like touching my tongue to it. Cause I probably would have died then too. But yeah, the doctors did some tests and they were like, okay, he's definitely allergic to peanuts. Anyway, my whole life has been without the peanut, except for a couple times, uh, whoopsies. So the first time that I ever had an allergic reaction, um, I guess I should give a warning on this too. I mean, you kind of already know from the video title and everything, but you know, there's gonna be mentions of me almost dying and a lot of like shock and shit like that. So if that doesn't sit well with you, maybe you shouldn't listen. So I was in seventh grade um, and I was getting ready for school, having my breakfast and I decided to drink part of an Adwala protein shake, which I don't know if Adwala still exists anymore, but I had a little bit of an Adwala protein shake with my breakfast. Uh, and then I went out to the bus and I started feeling real weird, started feeling kind of itchy. Uh, and keep in mind, this is the first time that I've ever had an allergic reaction other than when I was super young, um, but I don't remember that at all. And so I got to the bus stop, started feeling really weird. And so I lifted up my shirt and sure enough, I was covered in hives. Uh, if you don't know anything about allergies or allergic reactions or anything, um, usually you'll get like hives or your face will puff up, puff up, you'll get really swollen, your eyes will get really itchy. Um, you can literally feel your throat start to th uh, close up. You might throw up, you might have like really bad diarrhea or something because your body is trying to get it out of your system. So anyway, I was really lucky because normally at that time, my parents already would have been gone because usually I left for school um, shortly after they would have left for work. So I'm not actually sure why they were still home, but I'm really glad that they were still home because I went up into their room and I just took all of my clothes off <laughs> because, because I was super itchy and I was I covered in hives. Um, and so I just like took all of my clothes off and I was like, I think I'm having an, an allergic reaction. And so I went into the bathroom and I started throwing up everywhere. And then I stood up and I said, uh, I said, give me my EpiPen. And then I passed out. So that's kind of spooky. <laughs> and so I woke up to not being able to breathe. My throat had like pretty much closed up. I couldn't breathe. And I woke up to my dad giving me the EpiPen. Um, yeah, so that was scary. If my parents weren't there, I would have passed out and died. <laughs> Yikes. And so it's, it's also crazy because when you have an allergic reaction, you're supposed to have a lot of Benadryl as well. Um, I should probably know why Benadryl is beneficial. It's an anti, is it anti-inflammatory? It's an antihistamine. Why is it good? I don't know. But so when I had the reaction, when I got home, I took four Benadryl before getting my EpiPen. In the ambulance, I took four more Benadryl. They gave me four more Benadryl. Then at the hospital, they gave me the equivalent of four more Benadryl. So I had, give or take, 
12 plus Benadryl. <laughs> and not only that, but I also was going into shock too, or I had gone into shock. I had gone, when you have these kind of allergies, you go into anaphylactic shock, which I don't actually know how anaphylactic shock is different from other forms of shock. Shock. I mean, I assume because it's different because I don't know, normal shock like related to injuries and stuff is, you know, because you're being injured and this is because your body is trying to kill itself. Um, yeah, whoops. It's weird because my EpiPens are, they're right here actually. They're a spring loaded needle. Um, and so, you know, it should technically hurt a lot, but it actually doesn't hurt. I don't know if it doesn't hurt because it actually doesn't hurt or because it doesn't hurt because um, your body is saying, hey, we're in shock, we're not gonna feel anything. Also, I was like going in and out of consciousness again. Um, so yeah, EpiPens, what a fun time. I always carry two EpiPens on me also at all time. They're just in my pocket um, because you can have another reaction up to six hours later. Um, also, there is a chance that maybe it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know, but it's good to carry too. And if you have a severe allergic reaction or if you have a severe allergy, please carry EpiPens if you can uh, If you can get them. That's the other thing that's really fucked up um, is that EpiPens are extremely expensive. At least the standard EpiPens are. I know that they're pushing out like alternatives right now, um, but the normal EpiPens, um, which aren't covered under my insurance for some reason, are about $700 for a two pack. So a lot of people aren't fortunate enough, unfortunately, to be able to afford that. And so it's like, okay, well, I guess I might just die then because I can't afford to pay that. So it's really fucked up. Anyway, that's not what this is about. And so obviously when you have an, an allergic reaction or an allergy attack, you get super, super tired, not only because of the intense amount of Benadryl that I give you, but also because your body was just in shock and basically you almost died. So you basically just, at least in my experience, the few times that this has happened, you just sleep for a really long time for the rest of the day, probably the rest of the next day. Um, you get big bruises on your thighs because if you wanna know about how to do an EpiPen, Oh boy, oh boy, I'll go get my train, I'll teach you, hold on. Okay, so usually every EpiPen, they come in two packs by the way, it comes with an EpiPen trainer, which doesn't have a needle in it, but it's pretty much, it's the same thing to just teach you how to use it. I couldn't find my trainer because most of the time I don't ever use it, but I do have an expired EpiPen. So we are going to demonstrate this on a tomato that's, uh, that's going bad. So again, done. Don't do this, use a trainer. But this is how my parents taught me how to use it when I was growing up. So this is just the like little case that it comes in. The current ones that I have don't have this, but it's different. Yeah, so they would they would take fruit and they would teach me how to use it because it also like has some force and stuff to it. So you take off the, and this is a little bit different depending on the EpiPen that you're using, but it's all basically the same. You take off the blue thing, this end says on it, it's the needle end. So don't touch that. Hold it like this. And then you have to go on, oh, you have to go on the outer thigh. The, this part of the thigh, the outer thigh. You squeeze the person's thigh or your thigh. You go on the outer thigh and then you do this. Ready? And then you keep it in there for about 10 seconds. So, yep. And then this comes out like this. Um, so that's the needle that's in there. This slides out to protect it because that's now a needle, but always stab on the outer thigh. Never, ever, ever the inner thigh. Also the thigh is pretty much the only place that you do it. People ask like the heart, like in Pulp Fiction, definitely don't do that. Never in the neck, never in the arm. You do, let me show you these gams real quick. The, you do the outer thigh. This is the inner thigh. Never stab there, always the outer thigh. You, here, I'll show it to you on this link. You squeeze and stab on the outer thigh. You do it on the thigh because it's the fattiest part. Always the outer thigh because the inner thigh has arteries. If you hit one of those, you won't die from an allergy attack. You'll die from bleeding out. Anyway, that was a little bit of a tangent, but the more you know, I've just taught you how to use an EpiPen. That's also why I have this wrist bracelet too. Wrist bracelet? This medical alert bracelet. Um, it just says Ethan Nestor anaphylactic peanut allergy. You flip it over. It has, uh, it says, what does it say? It says EpiPen on person, 
and then I have an emergency contact on there. Um, but yeah, I wear this because if I ever pass out or I'm having an allergic reaction, there's a little bit of info. It tells what my medical things are. Second time, I almost died. This one was, uh, I don't actually think I almost died from this. So never mind on that. But second time I thought I was having an allergic reaction was actually the first time I ever went to PAX East. And I think that this was due to, I think I had some sort of sickness at the time anyway. I also wasn't eating a ton that day and I wasn't drinking a lot of water, which is really important if conventions are ever a thing again. Make sure you're well fed, make sure you're drinking a lot of water because you're around, around a ton of people and you are you know, walking a lot. And so it can get very congested. But my dad and I were walking around and I was like, hey, I need to sit down for a second because I'm getting kind of lightheaded, uh, which is something that's happened to me a lot. I think I just have like an iron deficiency. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna sit down and drink some water. This is when I was 15, 14, 15. No, I had to be, I had to be like 16 at this point because I was already doing YouTube. So it was probably, I was probably 16. Um, and so sat down for a minute, had some water, then got up, we started walking and then I don't remember anything because I just fell over and passed out completely. And so because of my history with my allergy, my dad thought that I might be having an allergic reaction. EpiPens also are just filled with epinephrine, which is something that your body produces naturally. So there is really no risk of taking an EpiPen when you're not actually having an allergic reaction. If I wanted to, I shouldn't actually do this ever. If I wanted to, I could stab myself with that right now um, and nothing really would happen uh, because your body naturally produces that. So there's no risk in giving somebody and thinking maybe this person is having an allergic reaction. You can give them an EpiPen and it'll be fine. So my dad thought that I was having an allergic reaction. I was passed out on the floor. He gave me the EpiPen. Um, and then we went to the hospital from there. But it turns out I wasn't having an allergic reaction, they don't think, because I didn't have any other symptoms. And so they thought that it was just me getting very overwhelmed uh, in the large crowd. Third place. This was an actual allergy attack. This was about two and a half years ago or so. It was April of 2018. Um, I went to Whole Foods and I did something that was stupid actually. So other people with allergies shouldn't do this. I don't know why I thought this was fine to do, but I did it anyway. I went to like the salad bar or, uh, and I just got rice. I just got rice and maybe like a soft boiled egg. But the thing that I, for some reason didn't think about, which I think about all the time, but I don't know why I didn't piece this together at that point was there was a bunch of other uh, dishes over there and a couple of them had peanuts in it. And so I scooped the rice in with the spoon that they had there. I ate it and then I went on my way and I was just doing some other like shopping and stuff. And so I was then at Target and I started feeling really weird. My eyes felt really puffy. I was feeling very itchy, but not in a normal itchy way. It's like a very specific feeling when you start having an allergic reaction. You get itchy in like a weird way and your eyes feel really, really weird, not just like having an itchy eye. So I went into the dressing room, pulled my shirt up, covered in hives. Um, and at that point, me and my friend slash current roommate, Catherine, we weren't living together at the time. She lived down the street from me. And so I called her and I was like, hey, Catherine, can you come to my apartment? Cause I think I'm having a little bit of an allergic reaction. So she was like, yeah, sure. And so, I went to my car um, and I looked in my rear view mirror and my face was huge. And so I just immediately, and I at that point I wasn't in shock or anything. So this is why I sort of know that I, I don't think EpiPens really hurt that much. Um, I immediately gave myself the EpiPen, called 911. Um, and the thing about it was, is at the time I was driving a Mini Cooper and I was in the middle of a huge parking lot and it was a gray car too. So they're like, where are you? And I was like, I'm in the Target parking lot. And they're like, okay, what kind of car do you drive? And I was like, I, I drive a gray Mini Cooper, but it's in the middle of the parking lot. So they're like, okay, rescue is on the way. Is there anything that you can do to like, to make it more obvious where you are? And so I was like, yeah. So I laid on the roof of my car while I was having an allergic reaction. Like I was literally going into shock on the roof of my car. 
Um, so that was really scary. And they were required to do this anyway, but I was like, will you please stay on the line uh, until they get here? <laughs> she was like, yes, that, I mean, I have to, but yes, of course I will. And so they got there, they got me in the, in the ambulance. And then I don't really remember much after that, except for like waking up and Catherine being there. Um, but there was a period of time where I was supposed to show up and Catherine probably just thought I was dead. Um, but I think at some point in between they were like, is there anybody that we can call? And I was like, yes, this person. So those are the times that I have almost died. Really just the first and the last story. Um, very not fun. Um, for any of you out there with allergies, be very careful. Always, always, always carry an EpiPen on you because you never know. Any of those times that I was, that I had an allergic reaction, I didn't expect it. I've had a lot of people be like, oh, well, like, it would be so rare for me to, for me to actually have something that had something that I was allergic to. Yes, in all, almost 24 years of my life, I've only had an allergic reaction twice, which is very, 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 very small. But if I didn't have my EpiPens at those points, I would have died. So better safe than sorry. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed my little story time. Uh, this was kind of fun for some reason to film in my kitchen. I don't know, it was something different. Carry your EpiPens if you're allergic to stuff. You know, be careful out there. Hope you enjoyed my Ethan Nestor's EpiPen training title. I don't know what that was. Thanks for watching. There's Eve merch that's out now and uh, soft boy stuff is gonna be restocked soon because it all sold out. So thank you guys for, for being so excited about that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go. See you later. <laughs> Ugh! <sighs>